Derek White went from having to take out student loans to pursue his dream to making generational wealth thanks to the one coach who believed in him and his own work ethic. First, let's see where White got his love for basketball from. Number 7. Derek White's Early Life White was born in Parker, Colorado on July 2, 1994. He grew up playing a ton of sports despite his small stature. He tried his hand at football and basketball. The love for basketball ran in the family. Both his parents had played competitive basketball, and his mother Colleen has joked about how she was good at dribbling, but not much else. Since then, she has worked as a legal assistant at a company which specializes in compensation insurance for workers. While White's dad had a bit more talent, he was a high school basketball player who, like his son, experienced a growth spurt in college. He went from 5'11 to 6'2. His love for basketball goes back to his childhood days in Boston. There, his father would take him to the same barber shop the Celtics frequented and would sync up their haircuts to coincide with the end of the team's road trips when he knew the team would be due for a trim. As a result, Richard met Bill Russell and other all-time greats. Once he hung up his basketball shoes, he went into the IT business. He works in the IT department of a digital education company. Meanwhile, White was equally as obsessed with basketball, but he too had his doubts if his passion for the sport could really take him all the way to the NBA, or if he would have to settle for some other type of work. Number 6. Basketball Obsession One thing White had to battle early on in his basketball journey was his stature. For the most part, he was under 6 foot during his high school years. However, White's confidence never wavered. His friends and family say he's always had enough confidence to fill an entire arena. And because everyone overlooked White because of his size, it just put a chip on his shoulder. But despite his competitiveness, he was cut from his 8th grade team and didn't even make the A team. White took that experience personally. Instead of throwing tantrums or feeling sorry for himself, he dived head first into improving his skill set. By the time he was a high school freshman, he was the man. In his four years at Legend High School, White logged 1,085 points and 176 steals, making him a Titans legend. He is also one of only three athletes from Legend to go pro. However, despite having a stellar end to his high school career where he averaged about 20 points during the 2011-2012 season, not many college programs came calling. White's longtime trainer, Marcus Mason, said that he and White's parents sent about 50 highlight DVDs of White's senior season in high school to college basketball programs of all levels. Almost all came back with rejections. The reality was that White was only 6 foot tall and weighed 155 pounds. However, there was one coach who believed in the future NBA star. Number 5. Journey to the NBA White had no star ranking next after high school. The only college offer White received was a walk-on partial scholarship from a Division II program. Apart from that, he had a junior college offer in Wyoming. At first, the four-year offer White had wasn't a scholarship. He received that offer from coach Jeff Culver, who was the head of the program at NAIA School Johnson in Wales. Now, if you've never heard of that school, we don't blame you. It's primarily known for its culinary arts program. But Coach Culver ended up leaving that school to take the head coaching spot at University of Colorado Springs. And he remembered White. He knew that White was still only 17 years old, so there was a possibility that he still might grow into his body. Meanwhile, he had seen the tapes on White and recognized that he had a high basketball IQ and really knew how to play the game the right way. So, he offered White a $3,000 scholarship as a preferred walk-on with an opportunity to earn a full scholarship as a sophomore. White was initially conflicted because the tuition fee was $20,000, but he decided to bet on himself and took out a student loan and followed his passion. By the time he arrived in Colorado Springs, White was four inches taller. Initially, he was supposed to be redshirted as a freshman. However, in practice, he dominated the other players. And then luck finally sided with him. Several Colorado Springs players came down with injuries, which left Culver no choice but to play White. He ended up averaging nearly 17 points a game and was named the 2013 Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference Freshman of the Year.
In his junior season, White averaged 25.8 points, 7.4 rebounds, 5.2 assists, and 2.1 blocks. He even scored 50 points against Colorado School of Mines and led the Mountain Lions to the 2015 NCAA Division II Men's Basketball Tournament. His hard work would be recognized when he was named to the NCAA Division II All-American Honors in 2014 and 2015. After this point, White wanted to challenge himself and see how great he could really be. In 2015, he transferred to the University of Colorado, although his first season he had to redshirt because of NCAA transfer rules. This was a blessing in disguise as it allowed him to adjust to Division I ball and work on his weaknesses. When he finally got on the court, he averaged 18.1 points, 4.4 assists, and 4.1 rebounds during his senior season, while also being named to the 2017 All-Pac-12 first team. White was one of 60 NBA prospects invited to the 2017 NBA Draft Combine. He was one of only 15 invitees who had not been rivals top 150 prospects in high school, and one of only three who did not sign with Division I programs out of high school. Along with that, he is likely the only one of those players who used part of his first NBA contract to pay off student loans. And the team that decided to back White would be the legendary Spurs organization. Number 4. NBA Career The San Antonio Spurs drafted White with the 29th pick of the 2017 NBA Draft. White was later included in the Spurs 2017 NBA Summer League roster. On July 6, White signed with the Spurs. But like every step in his basketball journey, it wasn't going to be easy for White to carve out minutes in the NBA. However, it would be the following year when White really had his breakout season. After setting several career highs, White was riding a high when the Spurs faced off with Denver in the playoffs. Despite losing in the first round, White recorded another career high, 36 points, to give San Antonio a 2-1 lead. After that year, White was included in the U.S. national team's final roster for the 2019 FIBA Basketball World Cup. The following season, he averaged a career high in points and blocks and established himself as one of the best perimeter defenders in the game, which is why the Boston Celtics sought him out in order to make their championship push. On February 10th, 2022, White was traded to the Celtics. Now that must have been a bittersweet moment as White had to say goodbye to his teammates, but he was going to his dad's favorite team. White proved to be exactly what the Celtics needed. In Game 6 of the Eastern Conference Finals against the Miami Heat, White scored 22 points on 7-for-14 shooting, alongside 5 assists and 3 steals. The following season, White picked up things where he had left off. He even earned Eastern Conference Player of the Week after averaging 24.5 points, 4.8 rebounds, and 7.5 assists in February. In Game 6 of the Eastern Conference Finals, White made a buzzer-beating putback shot as time expired to put the Heat and force a Game 7. He became the second player in NBA history to hit a buzzer-beating game winner with his team trailing and facing elimination. The other was Michael Jordan. White earned all defensive second team honors for the first time and had career highs from the three point line and the free throw line. His performance was so good that the Celtics felt confident in moving on from Marcus Smart and making White their main point guard heading into the next season. During this journey, White not only carved out his own place in the NBA, but has inked a few very lucrative deals. Number 3 NBA Contract White came into the league on an entry-level deal worth $8.5 million over four years. Now, as we mentioned earlier, White used a percentage of that money to pay off his student loans. After that deal expired, the Spurs retained his services for an additional year. That deal earned him $10 million. Now, we know that must have felt good, and he earned more in one year than he did in his previous four years combined. However, that pales in comparison to his next deal. The Spurs offered him a four-year, $70 million deal. $68 million of that 70 is guaranteed as well. In 2023-2024, White will earn a base salary of $17 million a season. And this deal will be up in another year or two. And the way that White has been playing, his next contract could easily be worth over $100 million. Not bad for a kid who no one believed in. Hopefully White has bought Coach Culver a nice present from all of his earnings. But one thing that will be eating at his cash flow will be his budding family life. Number 2. Off the Court White is a pretty private person. Recall what his friends said about him growing up? 
he likes to keep to himself, but he's plenty charismatic and outgoing with his close inner circle. Still on Twitter, he has nearly 50,000 followers, while on Instagram, he has almost 270,000. His gram is full of pics of his playing career, along with some unique life-giving talks at Harvard Law School. Another mainstay of his feed is his lovely family. White married Hannah Schneider in August 2021. They had a son, Hendrix James White, on May 19, 2022. Their son is named after Jimi Hendrix. They welcomed their second child, Daxton White, on November 4, 2023. In his off time, White also likes to spend time helping his community. He has participated with strikes for Special Olympics Massachusetts, a bowling fundraising event with all proceeds donated to Special Olympics organizations. White is also mindful of how he spends his money, which has kept his net worth growing every year. Number 1. His Net Worth Over his NBA career, White has earned quite a lot of money. The three contracts combined are nearly $90 million. And recently, White even posted his very first endorsement deal with Hot Hands. However, because White was relatively unknown until recently, he hasn't been able to capitalize on his fame as well as other NBA stars. Also, he has yet to own any business or investments, at least none that are public. Now add to that the tax he gets hit on his millions, and we would estimate his net worth is somewhere around the 35 to 40 million dollar range. Not bad for an undersized scrawny high school kid.